guys, so can anyone guess where we are right now? If you see any of our vlogs that we're doing while we're here, we are at Port Orleans Riverside just for one night. Um, tomorrow's Labor Day, so we just on a whim wanted to come and stay at Riverside. We love this resort. We've stayed here before. Um, and we get a really good discount as cast members. So speaking of that, today we're here doing the cast member tag. Um, I was not tagged to do this, but that's okay. I saw Callie and Kara um, doing this tag, and I loved their video. I thought it was a really great idea, and so we wanted to answer some questions for you guys today. Cast members! <laughs> so, question one. What is, was your position in the Walt Disney Company? You first. Um, I am a Fantasyland merchandise cast member, so I work in all the shops in Fantasyland. Um, there are quite a few. It's Sir Mickey's, Castle Couture, Fantasy Fair, Hundred Acre Goods, Bonjour Village Gifts, and a cart like that's near the Merida Main Greek. So yeah, a lot of shops that I work at, and that is my role. And I am a Walt Disney Imagineer slash sourcing specialist. Uh, I do the design and construction contracting for all of the cool projects that you guys see and hear about. So currently I'm working on Avatar Land. So when that opens, you can think of me. Yeah, he has a really cool job between Ooh. the two of us. Um, how long have you been, were you with the company? I have been in Imagineering over a year now, but at Disney as a like part-time cast member for almost two, and three if you include my internship. Yeah. A lot of cast members, if you ask them how long have you been with the company, you'll often get asked in return, so how how much time Disney counts or how much time do we count because there's often an internship or a college program there that technically isn't time that Disney counts with the company. Um, so I have been with the company just about two and a half years now and also just about a year, almost a year and a half of that is counted by Disney as part-time because the rest of the time has been either an internship or as a seasonal cast member which doesn't technically count. Um, what do your costumes look like? Mine is um, a purple princess costume that I wear in Fantasyland. If I can find one, I'll insert a picture right here of me wearing it. Um, it's really fun. We also have a different costume for Bonjour Village Gifts, which I actually prefer that one to the normal purple one. But And Scott does not wear a costume. Yeah, I get to wear pretty casual clothes. Sometimes this shirt... Sometimes t-shirts. Yeah, it's pretty cash, which is why Imagineers are not supposed to wear their name tags out in the parks because we don't want people to see that we're not dressed up to the nines. Hmm. Makes sense. Okay, so next question. What's the silliest thing you've ever heard a guest say? You first. Um, I have heard guests say a lot of silly things, unfortunately. Um, but it's part of the fun of working at Disney is some of the funny, silly, crazy things you hear. Um, probably the silliest is when I was asked, like, where is Harry Potter land? I think a lot of cast members get asked that. And also, one time a woman walked up to me when I was working in Hundred Acre Goods, and very serious face, she said, where is Walt Disney World? And I said, you're in it. And she really just wouldn't believe me that she was in Walt Disney World. She was like, no, this is Magic Kingdom. And I said, yeah, Magic Kingdom's one of the four parks of Walt Disney World. And it was just maybe a couple minute long conversation, but she really didn't believe me that she was at Walt Disney World. So that's probably one of, if not the silliest. Yeah, I don't interact with guests, so I don't really have an answer to this question. As a guest that goes in the park and hear what people talk about, I've heard some pretty silly things, but nothing off, you know, stands at the top of my head right now. Nothing when you were at the golf course or anything? Uh, that's right, I did work there. Uh, I can't think of anything right now. Okay. Um, 
Number five, what's the most magical moment you've had as a cast member? So, like you said, since you don't work in the parks, you could think of one just during your time as a cast member. Well, we weren't working, but last year, Natalie and I were at the Christmas party, and we were waiting for the parade, and there was a family from, where were they from? Michigan, or they were from up north, and it was yeah. them and their two kids, and they were just so intrigued by us being cast members and asked us all these questions. And at the end, they thanked us for everything that we do. And I was like, this is why we work for this company. Yeah. Because it people just appreciate it. It gives everyone a feeling that you just can't get anywhere else. So yeah. that, that's my most magicalist moment. Yeah, that was a great moment. Um, my most magical moment as a cast member, I'll try to just think of ones that I've had like in costume. Um, there are so many. I mean, working in Fantasyland, it's the most magical land. I'm a little biased, but um, you just see like little princesses running around all day long, so you kind of, you just have so many magical moments. I've had great magical moments, pixie dusting guests. Um, but I think the most magical is probably recently. Um, I met this older couple who had this, I think just the I'm celebrating buttons on, and it said 35 years on it. And so, of course, I congratulated them and said, you know, congratulations, 35 years, that's so great. Um, and, you know, they said thank you, and um, I don't know how, you know, we sparked a conversation, but I love doing that, and... Um, the wife said something like, we were here exactly 35 years ago. And I was like, wow, that's so cool. You know, we were getting into our conversation. And um, sh I said, what was it like? You know, I always want to know what Disney was like in the past when times when I didn't get to see it. And um, she said, well, actually, we have photos. And they pull she pulled out this little photo album. And she flipped through maybe like 10 or 15 photos. Um of their honeymoon from 35 years ago and then it came about like she she had told me we were here exactly 35 years ago but that day was their actual anniversary 35 years ago to the day and they were here at Walt Disney World and it was still just the one park because it was 1981 and so Epcot would be opening the next year and anyway it was just a great conversation with the two of them and it was really nice to meet them and see their pictures. It was magical for me, and I hope it was a cool moment for them to get to share their pictures, too. Um, okay, question number six. What's your favorite part slash perk of working for the company? This one's pretty easy. Hmm, the discounts? <laughs> uh, in Okay, well, the discounts are definitely a big thing. Like, that's the only reason we can, like, stay in the hotels and afford some of the merchandise and stuff that we do, but what was the question? The best... What's your favorite part of Part of hurt? working. Like, the best part for me, like, especially working in Imagineering, it's being able to make something that really leaves an impression on people. Just like that family, it's... You get to be a part of, of the creation of something so spectacular and things that people could never think of or dream of. You know, we we do it and, and we make it, we make dreams a reality. So as cliche as that is, it's uh, that is pretty awesome part about going to work every day. Yeah. My favorite perk when I'm just thinking of perks is getting into the parks for free. Definitely. <laughs> like, even more than the discounts on the hotels or the merchandise or the food which are all great I'm um, just getting into the parks because that's a very like going to the parks is my um, stress relief it really like renews me and refreshes me every time I can just go to Magic Kingdom and like just just go and have a minute to myself and that's a very refreshing thing for me to do so that's a great perk um, what's your favorite piece of cast member exclusive merch you've gotten you go first. I gotta think. Yeah, this one's hard. I don't know if, if I've gotten a lot of exclusive merch. What do we get that's cast exclusive other than at Company D? We have yeah. um, seven stores here at Walt Disney World that are called Company D, and they are just for Walt Disney World cast members. So all 
Well, not all, but most of the merchandise sold in those stores is cast member exclusive. They sell some, like, snacks and things, too, which is not cast member exclusive. Um, but you need your Walt Disney World ID to shop there. And so they sell things like the cast member lanyards. Do you have your Captain yeah, America one on Yeah, cast you? exclusive. Mm -hmm. So they sell things like the cast member lanyards, which Scott has his Captain America one. So there's all different kinds with, like, the different characters and stuff. Um, I don't know. My most prized, like, cast member item is my name tag. Like, if mm -hmm. I ever lost my name tag, I would be really upset. Um, it's just very special to me. My mom has been with the company 33 years now, and she has all her name tags from all the 33 years. So that's a very, like, special collection to me that she still has all of them. Um, but I know that's not technically merch, so it's kind of a hard question for me yeah. to answer. I think the most exclusive piece of merch I have is my Imagineering hat. Well, I do have my Imagineering hard hat, yeah. which is very exclusive. Okay, so that's going to be, but that's not really merchandise. You can't buy that. Yeah, exactly. I don't buy it either. The company supplies it, but it's only for Imagineers, and it is, it, what well, it really is, it's, it's a, it's an honor to be given something like that. Yeah. If you guys don't know what it is, you can you can easily look it up. Just look up Imagineer and Hard Hat. It's a brown hat. It has your name. And on the back it says Imagineer. And we have a picture of yours if I can find it. Yeah. I'll insert it right here. <laughs> um, okay, I think the final question is, if you could try a different role that you haven't tried, which would you choose and why? You go first. Um... Definitely guest relations. I've always wanted to be in guest relations and to be a tour guide, even more so. Um, just to be a tour guide to me is like a dream. I really want to do that someday. Um, so yeah, I think that's my answer is to be a tour guide. Um, I would not want to leave Imagineering, but there's definitely a lot of roles within Imagineering that I would love to have. Like right now, I'm a sourcing specialist and I do contracting. Um, but if I could, I would love to be a, uh, a project coordinator, which really helps p implement all the designs and stuff, all the, you know, almost like a project manager, but like one below. Uh, either that or I'd go be a special effects designer, because they're the ones that build everything, and I love building stuff. But there's definitely a lot of opportunity within Imagineering that I would love to explore in the future. So we'll see. Cross my fingers. We'll see what happens. Yeah. So that's all the questions for this video. Thank you so oh. much for watching. Um, give it a thumbs up and comment. It would mean a lot to me. And subscribe. Thanks subscribe. so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.